from uh, Abu Dhabi who keeps sending me a lot of funny stories. I don't know whether it's because he thinks I'm not funny enough or whether he's just hoping I will quote him one of these days. And so maybe I will accomplish both by telling you one of the stories he recently sent me. He comes from India, lives in the UAE. Actually, his son goes here to Moody. Uh, he sent me this story some time ago. He said, did you hear of this Indian who was flying uh, with Einstein next to him? You can already tell the imagination is being stretched. So this Indian guy is sitting next to Einstein, and Einstein says, you know, it's a long flight. Why don't we have a competition? I'll ask you a question, and if you can't answer it, you give me $5. Then uh, you can ask me a question, and if I can't answer it, said Einstein, I'll pay you $500. The Indian guy, you know, thought this is a great deal. If I can't answer it, five. If he can't answer it, 500. So he told Einstein, all right, you go first. So Einstein said, how far is the moon from the Earth? And the Indian thought and thought. Uh, he said, you know what, I really don't have the exact answer. Here's $5. Then he looked at Einstein and said, what goes up a hill with three legs and comes down with four? And Einstein worked through all of his knowledge of science, couldn't figure out what he was talking about, put his hand into his pocket and gave him $500. Einstein's turn again. Einstein said, before I ask you my next question, what does go up the hill with three legs and come down with four? And the Indian put his hand into his pocket and gave him $5. <laughs> So the moral of the story is never get into a Q&A game with an Indian, especially if money is involved. One way or the other, they'll find it.